Hi, good evening once again. It's Friday evening just after 10.30 and we're here with Hold No Bars. Uh, before I start tonight's program, we may have some difficulties this evening with the microphone when you call in. So those of you who may be turning up your TV, I will have to excuse you tonight. Uh, we are in a very now exciting period. As I speak, just this afternoon, it was announced that we have a new chairperson of the Elections Commission. Justice Claudette Singh, hold no bars, extend its congratulations, first of all, to Justice Singh on her appointment as chairman of Chico. And so the commission is now fully constituted with a chairman, three members from the opposition, three members from the government. So we have a full seven member commission constituted. We also want to extend our commendations to His Excellency David Granger and His Excellency Bar Jagbio for reaching this consensual position. I listened to well, let's go straight to the phones because the phone is ringing already. Hi, good evening. Hold no bars. You're on the air. Okay, we may have cut them off. Okay. Okay, so good. Yes, as I was saying, um, names were submitted by the leader of the opposition to His Excellency the President, and there was agreement. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Go ahead. You're on the air. Good evening. Okay, the person is not ready as yet. So, yes, commendation to both gentlemen. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, well, I, I can't understand this thing with G Bong and this poster. Like mm -hmm. uh, Tell me what you don't understand. The president said that they are going to register people, mm -hmm. and the opposition saying that the elections are going now. Mm -hmm. And the constitution and government, and they get a little confused. Okay, I will try my best to see if I can shed some light on that. Uh, first of all, the old commission which comprised a chairman that was not duly um, appointed by the process had agreed on a house-to-house -house registration. The opposition is saying that the law doesn't cover house-to-house -house registration, it covers continuous registration. I think it's Act 14 of 2005 which allows for continuous registration in order to update the list. Uh, the president is and his commissioners along with the, the partisan are say, is saying that look the list is bloated it has to be corrected the only way it can be corrected is by house to house registration and um, so there are two positions that are contending one uh, which is what I consider the legal position, it doesn't, the law doesn't provide for the house to house registration now, yeah. the continuous registration. And that will be tested in court shortly. Good? So, um, which one you feel is the right tip? The continuous registration. Continuous, so yeah. the election right away. Well, you will have what is called a list produced out of the national register that exists. And then there's a claims and objections period that allows for persons who, let's say a person from Oriala moved to Georgetown. Okay. So they can change by um, transferring from Oriala to Georgetown. A person who got married and want their name in the new ID card to be uh, Mrs. King, right? That person can change your name. A person who may have resided overseas and returned to Guyana and not on a list can get an opportunity to go on the list, right? Um, so what about the people who can't make it, people who are working along the clock? But I guess some people, as soon as they wake up, it's like, Mark, set, go. Well, this is, 
You have raised the most uh, challenging position with uh, any house to house registration, and that is because we have so many persons, both husband and wife, children in households who work away from home and who work long hours. When the people come to register you, you're not there, you're not going to be registered. And then, and then what will happen is that they will tell you there will be a claims and objections period, but compressed in that short week and a half or two will be perhaps 200,000 people who need to add. So people that work here in Rungley Club and got a hard time for register? They can still find a hard time to register. Yes. So don't put them up in their position for them? Well, this is why we're saying have an extended claims and objections period, let's say three weeks, and leave the centers open from 8 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock in the night okay. so that you can have a long span of time to go in and get registered if you're not registered already. Okay, well, the people who now turn 18, 19 and be the hardest for like, get to vote. Well, right? well, the people... Do you remember when you were 18 years old, you do anything like politics and wherever, yeah. it won't be like a little too harder for them. Right. Uh, Except the law provides for when they have these continuous registration periods, the law provides that any person who is going to be 14 years of age at the qualifying period could register. Okay. And being registered doesn't mean you get to vote. You go on what is called a National Register of Registrants. Basically, it's a register that contains all the citizens who are 18 years and above. Sorry, 14 years and above. And so when an election is called, we can extract from that list everybody who is 18 years. So a lot of the 14-year-olds who were 14-year-olds up to the last qualifying period, I think it was October last year, would have been registered. But those who have attained the age of 14 since last year will now get a chance to go on. Okay. And from the age of 18, yes. The, the only election time is the ID No, you get an ID card from 14. From 14. From 14. In the law, prison with 14 plus. Yes. You get an ID card. Exactly. You get an ID yeah. card from 14. But you only go on the voters list when you attain the age of 18 at the qualifying date for elections. Yeah. So, why don't one do like how GPL is? Do this thing. You can get any of less and pay GPL bill. Mm -hmm. and it's a registered GPL at the mother, the mother office. Okay. So why, why we want to set up a system like that? You know... That when you get your ID card, you get the entity the system so you can go anywhere and vote when the election is like... Well, voting is one thing. Again. So when you go back again, you know, pop up when it's when you come you can get charged, you can to jail. You know, I wonder. Okay, two things there, right? You've actually hit on a principle which is applied in many countries with strong democratic ideals and system. In many countries, once you become of age, let's say 14 is the qualifying year, uh, date to get on the register, you can literally register from your home on a computer. Let's say my, my grandkids, as soon as they're born and so they will get registered if they are... But most of the people are for the kids that went out on 18 because election politics in the U.S. is owned by the kids. Cause they don't know. They already know responsibilities and their party and... Right. And I'm like, well, we got time for what we've done. I'm saying, but when we were for parents fight for we get for vote and get we benefit from the country. You know, I don't know... Um, I don't know your background, but I'll tell you this. The points you've raised are so fundamental to the issue of democracy and the rights of citizens. And it requires a lot of maturity. Yeah. It requires a lot of maturity in the parts of the politicians. There is no trust in the system. Nobody trusts each other. Right? That's why you have to have watchman for watchman. And you know who's feeling it? Smart. Exactly. When he goes down up, 
and they sharpening and they bricking, they fighting and the man who working, you gotta feel it. Feel it. Really is like it. Yeah. And majority of the people live in half a pong and pint. A yeah. pong of salt, a pint of idol. I know I know what you're trying to say. The pint yeah. is more extensive. Well, let me, let me thank you for raising those issues and also express my um, commendation, compliments to you for being a regular on this program, right? Thanks. Uh, Good evening. I sorry, brother. Sorry for cutting you off, but um, let's give a couple of other people a chance to get through. And thanks for kicking the program off this evening on a really great note, right? And that's one of the regular names that pop up with our calls on Hold No Bar. So, yes. I was speaking of the issue of the newly appointed chairperson of the Elections Commission, Justice Scott Singh, and commending not only uh, Claude Singh on agreeing to put her name up because this is such a stressful position to hold, but also commending our leaders who have sat in the last 48 hours and hammered out a consensual position. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. Good, ev evening, good evening. I see just some of a guy was um, telling you, but what if you don't go on, if you don't go on with this stuff, you can get really and get, um, get fine. Tell them, uh, let the nation know that there's no law like that. If you want an ID card, you register. If you don't want an ID card, you don't register. No, but, if, you but, a, if you want a passport, you register with you know, it's a it's not compulsory it's like for you to go and register. Okay, but there actually is a penalty provision in the National Registration Act for persons who uh, refuse to register. But under this particular uh, registration, this particular one, I can't see how they're going to uh, prosecute people who've already registered under this act. That's my problem. That's my problem, right? You know what I'm saying? That's what it's trying to do. Uh, and just, how about, how hold on, hold on. Don't move off yeah. yet. Are you hearing yourself on the television? Yes, I hear it back. Okay, good. Because we're having some problems with the microphone, so I have to hold um, the cell phone up a bit. And what, what does it make, does it make a lot of people to know that about 30 items that were what, free under the previous government? This government has part on it, and who punishes is the people at the bottom, the poor <laughs> people. Okay, we're going to have a like crack it. at the campaign promises shortly, right? Thanks a lot. Good. Okay. So, um, I don't think uh, vigorous campaigning have started as yet, but still we have been in the process of hammering out certain necessities, including the protocols for the registration, the GCOM, the timetable for elections, all those things have been uh, in the air, especially since the challenge to the validity of the no confidence motion, which was successfully passed in the National Assembly on December 21st. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Uh, good night, sir. Good evening. Imagine yes, it is. Okay. Well, uh, the question is, uh, when you when a person register for ID card, mm -hmm. it's not automatically at the same time that person name can go on to the voters list? No, the person names go into what is called the National Register of Registrants, which is not necessarily the voters list. It's a list of all persons in the country 14 years and above. When an election is called, right, uh -huh. then all the persons who are 18 years and older who are qualified to vote, uh -huh. those names are now extracted from that list. At the Mali. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much also. Good. So we're gonna as we have a new chairperson and the elections commission will be fully constituted, we're going to hear more and more of the process. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Say it as you see it. Very good night, sir. Good evening. Why, if the president had four people mm -hmm. that he had agreed was qualified to be chairman, mm -hmm. why you have to go and look for more people when he could have taken one when he falls? Okay, that's the president's prerogative, but the law calls for six persons. 
And if yeah. I am the president, you ask a question, I'm just giving you an answer, right? And if the law calls for six persons, the opposition leader cannot give a list that is less than required by law to the president. That is why you need six persons. Okay? Good. So you can't, if the, if the list calls for six persons, you can't tell the president, I'll only give you three or two. What you're doing there is sh shrinking the options of the president. That is why if it calls for six, the opposition leader has to provide six. If he provides less than six, then we can easily say it's acting in bad faith. Good? And I'm very pleased that uh, a list of six names were submitted. And as President Jaglio said, this is a consensual candidate, a candidate that has the support of all sides. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> there seems to be an argument in the background there. Um, our apologies to the listeners at this stage. So when you call, um, you know, put yourself in a position to make your contribution swiftly and without interference or distraction. The other issue is that, you know, if you want to call and abuse, um, you can you can abuse, but don't use language that's not permissible on the air. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Good evening. That was a good move today for Carl Singh to be the chairman of GCOM. Mm -hmm. I think he would do a good job. Mm -hmm. And the next thing, the PVP, they got to do something with the Prime Minister candidate. Mm -hmm. it, I'm a taxi driver, right? Okay. And um, a lot of people from Boy Beast to George Dog. Mm -hmm. And they say it is a rumor up in Boy Beast. Anytime the people take a, a former army chief to be the Prime Minister, they will not vote for the PVP. Okay. And the before they say, I just be the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. And you are going to look into it, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for your comment. I'm sure the powers that are will make decisions that are appealable to our people. Not appealable if you want to appeal to the court, but acceptable, I should say. Hi, good evening. You're on good the good evening. Good evening. I want to hear about the, um, the IDK. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, I want to know your process to get the IDK. Is it going to be from 16 up or from 18? 14. Okay. From 14, right? Yeah. Okay, you haven't been registered before. Have you been registered before? Okay, so he's off the air. So um, let's see what happens after the full commission meets. They normally meet every Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Good night, sir. Good evening. So, you know, that woman is a very good woman who chose as chairman, you know. Mm -hmm. Just turn down the volume a little bit for me, please. Thanks. Go ahead. Yeah, she's a very good woman. She's straight up. She's mm -hmm. in the category with the speaker and with she. Mm -hmm. So she can do a very good job. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. All the best. Good. So, Justice Claudette Singh, um, we have a, an endorsement there as a very good person. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good night. Good evening. Okay, when you vote, right? Mm -hmm. From 14, 14 or so? No, from 18. Okay. You can Thank register you. from 14, but from okay. 18, then you could vote. Okay? Thank you. Great. Glad to see the interest in um, exercising the franchise and uh, for what age. The program Hold No Bars gives you an opportunity to see it as you see it and more particularly to help provide you with clarification and some information on the system and the society within which we operate. So the lines are open. You can WhatsApp on the 6819312 number. If you're finding it difficult to go through, the uh, WhatsApp is on the computer screen so I can easily see your messages. Hi, good evening. You're on the air with Hold No Bars.
Good night. Good evening. Like everything will go on today. You like everything that went on today? Yes. Thank uh, you. Thank you very, very much. Another um, endorsement of the decisions. Good evening, Nadir. PVP all the way is one message that just came through. Hi, good evening. You're on Hi, the Mr. Nadir. Hi. We oh, cross yeah. another hurdle. Yes, they now are. it's on to the finish line. Okay, another hurdle has been crossed, and thanks again. Yeah, um, now I hope she work in the interest of GCOM and not. Um, well, thank you very much. Of any good. Political okay. Parties. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello, good night. Good evening. Um, this this people in this realization, right? Uh huh. They come wrong in the social scheme here, so we're just some people like, you know? Mm hmm And I was asleep on my wife, but I'm she gave and thing as well. Okay. So the guy get up and I get up to here, I see them up, okay? Mm hmm So they tell me that I'm um, the legal register one time. Mm hmm So I can know this, they don't need to come with that, yes, sir, you know how? Right. That this house also a situation is not uh, available. Is that legal? Is it illegal? Right. So I said, why are you going through with this practice? You know how? Mm -hmm. So I just want to find out if it's still necessary or, or not, you know how. Well, as far as I know, uh, we in the opposition still maintain this is an illegal exercise. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Say it as you see it. Good evening. Okay, so that person is not ready to speak. Again, you know, if you want to make a contribution, say it as you see it, be ready. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no more. Good, good evening. I just want to find out something. Sure. This new ID card mm -hmm. that you're having, uh -huh. when you get it, mm -hmm. the number from the ID card you got from the old one. Mm -hmm. Don't go on on the new ID card or you get a new number. No, if there is a new registration, and I'm not talking about this. <coughs> Excuse me. If there is a new registration, yes. the ID number assigned for the new registration, that will be your ID card. Okay. Except here are some of the challenges. Old cards have to be decommissioned to say that no longer is valid. As far as I know, the ID card before the last one has never been decommissioned, so it's still valid. This one that we currently have is still valid. I know. Right. Um, I just found a something. Go ahead. Yes. When you get a new ID card. It's not going to be reflective no, of I the... I'm just saying something. Yeah. What happened with all the transactions in the bank and all over that have GRA that have that full ID card number? You have just opened all the nightmares. And I'll give you one example. Pensioners, we got 40 to 45,000 pensioners on the roll. Even the previous ID card, not the one that we have now, yeah. we weren't able to migrate all those pensioners with this, with the new ID cards. So several of them, we had to keep the old ID card number. Yeah. And so, or else we'd have dispossessed so many pensioners, people would have given all of their sacrifices for our development. Yeah, because you have to change your, you have to change your driver's license. Yeah. GRE, your tax return, everything. Mm -hmm. NIS, I think they all got some linkages and things like that. Yeah, the transaction in the bank. The transaction in the bank too. Transaction in GPL. So 450, 600,000 people will end up having to be running all over the place for the next yeah, two very years. Good. Who can pay this expense for you to line up at GRA to get these things changed? Well, that's going to be an added burden on the people of our country. The, go the government will stand it or GCOM? Not at all. Well, Not at all. And we know that how GRA acting and how the GPL acting, you have to line up whole two, three hours, four hours. Very true. So good, re good point raised, sir. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you. Good. So these are some of the challenges that we have.
And I like what the Western diplomats have said today. Hi, good evening. You're on the air with Whole No Bars. Say it as you see it. Good evening. They came by my area here to do um, registration and they had an inside, inside. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, G. Come. And I just tell them I'm not interested. I don't have no documents on me. Mm -hmm. And they're wearing all over white clothes as if they're a nurse and they're a doctor. Uh -huh. And they're all um, Negroes mm -hmm. and, and, and African sisters, them. Mm -hmm. And I want to know that if so be the case, the other four races like the Portuguese, the East Indian, the Chinese, the Amerindian, and get certificate too, they want to mix themselves. Well, this has been the point. I ain't got a problem who comes to register, right? If yeah. registration goes on. But this is the problem which we have raised and, and Commissioner Ben has raised it. He says, yeah. look, man, right? You yeah. can't tell me that 90% of the people who will man this system are only coming from one race. That's right. Right? And, and he was accused of this, that. And he wasn't only speaking of the Commissioner the secretary of staff, he's also speaking of the 14,000 temporary staff who would have been uh, selected and given jobs during this exercise. Yes, and that's a yes. challenge. Thanks and a lot. That is what I'm looking at. Great man. So I just tell him that I'm not interested. Okay, great. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Are, are you hearing yourself on? Are you hearing yourself on the on the television? I'm having a little problem with the microphone system, and using the cell phone, I have to point it up to the the overhead mic. So I just want to check and ensure that the listeners can hear you. No, I'm not listening to myself. I would like to congratulate Covered Barrett for doing that. Thanks a lot. Great. Another word of congratulation and confidence to um, leave the opposition and in the selection of the chairperson of the Elections Commission. All the lines are open and they're going. Hi, good evening. You're Hi, on the Mr. Air. Hi, Mr. Nadia. Go, go ahead. You don't look tired at all tonight, but you look like you're here with everybody. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, if you already have an ID card, right. doesn't that mean you have been registered? Exactly, that's the but point. How do they come to be uh, threatening to bring the police if you don't want to be registered again? Isn't the, the original of all the time you've been registering, is that not valid? Exactly. And what they are attempting to do in this exercise of registration uh, is register you under the same law which you have been previously registered. I know how they can jail me. But how is it they are going to charge you for not registering if you already registered? They can't. But there's what Mr. Jordan was saying, that the police are going to get involved. He's actually advising the police. Mr. Jordan? Who's Jordan? Huh? Huh? Who's Mr. Jordan? On the news on Channel 20, uh, 21 just now. Which Jordan? Uh, Mr. Jordan, the uh, finance minister. Oh, the finance minister. Yeah, he was, he uh, can't, was advising the police that they must get in for if people don't want to get registered as a criminal. He can't, he can't, he can't even look after the economy. He can look after no, registration. He's intimidating people. Yeah, he thinks so. All yeah, of a sudden. And, uh, I must uh, congratulate the uh, Miss Gladys Singh. I think she is a decent person and she's a reasonable person. I saw that woman in a line in GT and she's standing up. As hard as like the ordinary people going to pay her bill, and I wonder myself. I said, this woman is an important woman. I see her standing in line. That shows the humbleness in the woman, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to congratulate her. And one more thing, I got uh, this child that died in Nessie I know that's not the topic tonight, right? No, no, raise it. But I think this is the hospital. Uh, I hear it. The, the, the phone ringing hard. That's okay. Go ahead. That hospital, that particular hospital in, in Esquibo, mm -hmm. they had a serious problem with that hospital. A lot of people, my father a lot died in that hospital, mm -hmm. the neighbor died in that hospital with minor injuries. Mm -hmm. But because they were elderly people, people they really uh, 
pick it up. But you see, it happened to a child or everybody. They so and then the guy is saying that this child that died from blood poisoning from an injury to his foot, he had to be caught with something poisonous. Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay. What kind of frivolous excuse that these public hospitals and pathologists them given to the public? Okay. Scary people. I know once there's a death in the hospital, there is supposed to be a protocol, an investigation, and a report. I haven't seen the official report. I haven't heard about the, the report. So yeah, but that's what the news guy that the child died from blood poison and from the entry to the foot. I mean, that's song you know, to the ordinary man are coming out for the news. It's public news. Okay. It's something that is not sung in. In this day and age. Yes. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Great. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. I'm happy that the matter with the um, GCOM commission has been resolved. Thank you. And I, I, I must say that I congratulate Ms. Gordon Singh, and I think she's one of the women that I always admire. I think mm -hmm. she's a woman of integrity. Mm -hmm. and I think that that's the best choice also. So finally, a woman will straighten out me, men. I, I'm glad for that. Thank I you. Think many straightening out. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. Great. Okay, just saying another vote of confidence in um, your selection. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Nadir. Go ahead. I like why you're still doing the people don't register because if these people register, maybe the election still that one. Mm -hmm. So if they register, they're going to left out. Mm -hmm. Because nobody can turn back the registration, you know. Mm -hmm. You know that? I don't know that. So let these people go register. I don't know that. It's illegal. Something. It's, it's illegal. illegal. It's legal because it was to have something that the money was done planned serious. Money don't make a thing legal. So money don't make a thing. You don't go to which because you know you think to turn back because you know you are not getting all the other one. Okay, Pat. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Hi, good evening. Good night. Good evening. Um, Mr. Nadir, does this for you to change the ID card? Uh, it doesn't have to go to Parliament to say, look, we have we be changing your ID card or so. No, it doesn't have to go to Parliament. It's covered in the National Registration Act. And that, that act has been amended by Act Number 14 of 2005, which allows for continuous registration to enable citizens, once they reach the age of 14, to get registered. Yeah, but then... Do they not have to notify you that, look, we be, be, be changing this card to let the people know mm -hmm. that you'll be having a new card? Yeah. yeah. Except we in the opposition are saying that's what they're doing now is illegal. If we want to have a new card, let's go to Parliament and amend all the acts and start back from scratch after we have elections. Thanks a lot. That is what I want to know. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Congratulations to the new chairman. Great. Hi, good evening. You're on the air? Hi, good night, Mr. Nadir. Good. You? Let me turn up your volume a bit. Go ahead. It's a good night. How are you? Good? All is well. Good evening. Okay. I, I would like to congratulate Mr. Bass, uh, Mr. Barrett. Mm -hmm. Well done, John. And Thank I hope that we'll see your read through. Thank you very much. And it's okay. been a consensual position, so we should share out bouquets to both sides and more particular, prayers for Justice Claude Singh, right? Okay, so we have a couple more. Um. Hi, good evening, you're on the air. Busy evening tonight. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, you're on the air. Go ahead, you're on the air. Okay, so that person has a little bit of distortion um, happening. Um, good evening, Mr. Nadia. I'm hearing the cell phone calls, but it's a bit distorted. Yeah, we can't help the cell phone, but let's see if we can use the landlines. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Not hearing you too well, so let me take another call. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good evening, Mr. Nadir. Good evening. Uh, one thing I would like you guys to look into. Mm -hmm. When you all take back power, which will be very soon. We don't take power. Power is <laughs> bequeathed upon you by the people. Okay. I know the AP and new government has full of people 
uh, for public hospital doing dialysis center. Mm -hmm. Because I was there Wednesday, my uncle who is very sick, mm -hmm. who we pay a lot of money that to do baby do dialysis. Mm -hmm. And it's like that public room dialysis, they got to cheer them is abandoned. Mm -hmm. And there's something we need to look into because every session is 9,000. Yeah. And if you have to do two times a week, it's very expensive. I know. And we live off the East Bank. Mm -hmm. Both the East Coast and come back, it don't be easy with a taxi. Okay, but let us, let us be a little bit fair. Isn't it that the public health system also allows you to go to a private clinic and they would subsidize you to the tune of X amount over a two year, three year period? No, you have to have this session. Uh -huh. But the poor person who have to sign the letter mm -hmm. is on leave and they say they don't know when the person will be available. And nobody else can sign the letter? No. At this moment, that's what I know. Uh oh. Okay, it's something that we got to look at, right? Yep. Because we are promising people government support um, in terms of dialysis, which is a serious thing. If you don't get a dialysis three, four times a week, you die very soon. And it's so hard for to know that my uncle saw this country for 27 years mm -hmm. as an ambulance driver. Okay, pal, thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay, and then here we have. Um, another word of congratulations. I'll read that just after this call. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Uh, good night. Good evening. I, I get to know that how some of the Venezuela people them I go at the P and get them for get paper for them board certificate mm -hmm. to register. Okay. But here, a person can get registered if they're Guyanese. Once any one of your parents is Guyanese, you're automatically a Guyanese. So I may be born in Venezuela, uh -huh. of a Venezuelan father, but a Guyanese mother. So I'm entitled to be registered as a Guyanese. So, okay, okay. right? So don't let us blame the people who are trying to regularize themselves as Guyanese as um, something else. But we do have a lot of Guyanese who are Venezuelan or Venezuelan who are Guyanese from Guyanese spirit and they're entitled to be registered as Guyanese. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, you're welcome. Okay, so I was about to read uh, this message. Hi, good night. I would like to congratulate Mr. Barajadio for his good work. Thank you very much. Um, he's been putting in uh, long, long, long days and nights uh, to ensure that our country um, will continue along a democratic, a democratic path, right? So thanks again for your words of encouragement for President Jack. You let us clear some of the other messages that we may see coming through here. Um, another one says, excellent program, Mr. Ndia, very informative, and your mature responses are super. Thank you very much. You know, it's always good to get a tap on your shoulder from other people. And we politicians like to blow our own trumpets too. Thanks again. Hi, good evening. You're on the good air. Good evening. Big up to the PPP. Okay, big up to yourself too. Good night. Okay, so we have a lot of work to do. This is a country that belongs to all Guyanese and it is ours and only ours and only us to make it right. So all of us got to be involved in what is happening in our country. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Good night. Good evening. Pick up the PPP. <laughs> okay, say it as you see it. You know. Okay, good. Thanks a lot. So, President Jagdio, PPP, you're getting a lot of thumbs up and big ups. So, let's keep up the good work. Uh, we'll give bouquets in on this program this evening to all sides. And as I said, a few minutes ago, and our prayers for the chairperson of the Elections Commission, Justice Claude Singh. It's not an easy job to be refereeing between sparring politicians of all sides, and we need a person who is going to come down on the side of rule of law and justice. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. I wish you was the president. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Another caller coming through. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. You're on the air. Go ahead. 
Okay, so the cell phone caller was not ready, and we have a lot of work to do. This is just the first step in the right direction, and we trust that with a lot of hard work, a lot of same giving as it took today from all sides, that a path along the road of democracy, we can advance along that journey. Right? So we have about 14 minutes remaining on our program tonight. It's been a busy one for the telephones in spite of the fact that we have some technical difficulties. We've been doing quite well. Another message coming through. Let me read this one. Good evening. I would like to congratulate Mr. Barjag on all his hard work he has done for this country and we'll never ever get such a great president ever, ever again like him. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good night, Mr. Nadir. Good evening. Okay. Four timers. Congratulate our champion of the world. Thank you. His Excellency Mara Jagdil. Mm -hmm. Long life, long live for him, man. Thank you. That is one of the most brilliant, one of the most brilliant president Guyana ever got. Mm -hmm. Is Barack. And God must always give him health and strength to work for the people in this country. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Your Excellency Barajagdio, some more bouquets for you this evening on Hold No Bars. And undoubtedly, President Jagdio has been a more than committed public servant and a very, very, very outstanding son of our soil. Good. More. I hope we can hear the cell phone calls, right? You're on the air. Go ahead. You have turned on a bit for me. Come on. Hello? Okay. So that person, uh, while we're having some technical difficulties, he was just a bit too loud. Uh, another message coming through on the telephone. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello? Hello? Good evening. You're on the air. Good evening, Mr. Nadi. Good evening. I'm doing a wonderful job. I want to congratulate all the people here, especially Mr. John Gale mm -hmm. and Claudia Quinn. Mm -hmm. Wish them all the best of success. I know you guys got to make it to work very hard. John Gale really have faith. Thank you very much. Hi, good evening. You're on the air? Yeah, Mr. Nadi. Good night. Good evening. They got the APIU all the time. Great. Thanks a lot. Good. That's all? All the time, all the time. Big up the APAU. Thank you. And that's a big up for the APAU. Really, really good work that I've done in the four years. Great. Really good work that I've done in the four years. And the wickedness we are want to do to them. We will be in Sharandas to do whatever. Thank you very much, sir. That's your view. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. Good evening. That's nice to hear your voice and nice to see you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations to Mrs. Claudette Singh mm -hmm. for the job that she's taking on. Mm -hmm. To be another headache to her, but she has to keep thinking mm -hmm. and make everything successful. God bless Guyano. God bless that the election will be successful. I join with you in that prayer. Thank you very much. Love. All the best. Good, great. Just about 10 minutes remaining tonight, and we might be able to get, if the calls are short and sweet as the last two callers, we may be able to get as much as 15 calls in. So here we go again. Cell phone. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. You're on the air. You're on the air. Okay, so that one. Uh, we're not hearing him or her, whoever it was on the phone. All right, go ahead, you're on the air. Hold no bar. Say it as you see it. Good night, Mr. Nadir again. Good evening. Oh, you say again. I didn't see a number pop up. I should pay attention. Go yeah. ahead, go ahead. I don't normally give persons two bites of the same cherry, do you, you know. Do you not think that the Constitution needs to be overhauled? I, there may be a couple of places that we need to change the constitution. And I'll tell you what, to make it clear, pellucid, as Forbes used to say, pellucidly clear, we meaning clear, clear, right? 
that um, you know when you lose the vote in low confidence, you must come down. So we won't have this kind of repetition again. Exactly, exactly. Right. Thanks a lot. Hi. Good evening. You're on the air. Yes, Mr. Nadir. Go ahead. You got to turn on the volume a little bit. Hear the man. Hear him. Turn down. Turn down. Turn on the. Turn down the volume a little bit. Hear the man. Turn down the volume a little bit so everybody could hear you. Sorry, you cut yourself off. Maybe your credit ran out. So you have a right to big up whoever you want to big up. And a right to do so even on this program. Hi, good evening. You're on Hi, the good air. Good evening, Mr. Nadia. Good evening. It's so, it's so heartening to see mm -hmm. that Mr. Granger could have separated his political allegiance mm -hmm. from his constitutional mandate. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you Thanks, very sir. much. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bar. Say this. Good, good, good evening. I just want to say, if it was PNC, they would have done. If what? Oh. Hello? If it was PNC, they would have done. Come out or whatever they do, you know. Why they can't come out and start the election? Thank you very much. That's a good question. Right? Thanks. Okay, let me take two or three quick messages. Good night to you and the PPP friends. That's one. Congratulations to Mr. Jagdio and the PPP for the hard work. If I send a message and want to call, you will allow that? Of course, I will allow that. That's um, our, here, our job here is to hear views and to help inform our people about the issues of the times. All right? Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello. Good evening. You're on the air. Hi, uh, good night, Mr. Nadia. Good evening. I think you are doing a good job, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much, and I, I wish you... I continue for the next Okay, Sukibu, so thank you very much. I'm glad you're hearing us this evening. Thank you. And I also wish Mr. Bart, who is uh, doing a good job, and... Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so we are running down to the last six, seven minutes of the program. The person who wants to know if I will take the call, yes, I will. Uh, if you can get through, if you message right on the WhatsApp as you've done just now, I can read that out for you too. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello, good night, Mr. Nazir. Good evening. Um, I wish if we are to get back to the and if we are going to get back to the Constitution into tor a third term mm -hmm. in our office. Okay. Third term in our office. Thank you very much. Somebody wants a third term. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Okay, you're irritating my ear with the loudness of your television. So we've cleared all the calls with just about a few minutes remaining tonight. Hi, good evening. Go ahead, you're on the air. Good Hello. evening. Go ahead. Hello? You're on the air. Go ahead. You need to shut up. You are too big. That's better to see you with, the bad wolf said. Better to see you with. Go ahead. Right. Okay, so we've cleared five minutes remaining on the program tonight, and all the lines are clear. So it's been a great day for Guyana with a consensual chairman of the Elections Commission being selected and being appointed. And that, as President Jagdio said, came out of a consensual position. We want to commend also President Granger for swiftly moving to ensure the person is appointed. And I'm confident that Justice Claudette Singh would have already started working as chairperson of the Elections Commission. Lots of work to do to ensure that we can pull off general and regional elections within constitutional deadlines. Over the past couple of days, we've seen a lot of statements by many persons. The bottom line is that once a no confidence vote has been successful, whoever's in power has three months within which to make a call. 
this person is no ID. I don't take no ID cards, right? Because it's only fair to those who are calling um, and show up the number, we should be able to identify numbers because we've had some very dirty tongue people calling on the program. So I don't take no caller ID, right? Yes, with just about four minutes remaining on the program, I was saying um, that, okay, let's take this call. The number is there. I will show you. Thank you for doing the good job. Thank I you. And thank you for calling in. Thank you for listening. And I'm sure, I'm sure you've also been encouraging other persons to join the program. We are all engaged in ensuring this country of ours remain and progress along a democratic path. That's all I want to see. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello. Go ahead. Good night. Good evening. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. I think I think that call a call before. No, they didn't. But if you want to have a little fun, there are many different avenues on a Friday evening, the start of the weekend, which you can have the fun with. But if you feel you can, you want to call in and have some fun on the telephone, we'll do it after, because I think we're a little bit serious here. And so one person says, your response to negativity is admirable. Keep up the good work, sir. Thank you very, very much, right? Good. Three minutes remaining on the program. Tonight, hold no bars. We say you call it as you see it. And today has been a pretty good day for Guyana in terms of a consensual chairman after almost a year and a half of a one-sided James Patterson being appointed to the Elections Commission. I might be able to take two callers a no call ID call just coming through. I just cut that person off. So your number has to show up. If your number doesn't show up, my regrets. My apologies, but I can't take the call, right? And so the broadcast authority is waiting and looking at every little thing that we do, especially from the opposition, to cite us for wrongdoing. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Okay, I'm going to have to block that call because they got through the second time, right? But actually, it's a, it's a different number they use, right? Good, but it's the same voice. Okay, let's take this final call tonight. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello, good evening. Okay, that one, we missed that one. Yes, President Jack Dio and President Granger um, surprised the entire nation this afternoon by reaching consensus on a list of names not unacceptable to the president. That discussion happened. President Jagdio retired to his office and immediately submitted the list of six names not unacceptable to the president. President Granger found favor in one of the six names not unacceptable to him and emerging out of that process following the constitution was the name Justice Claudette Singh who was duly sworn in this afternoon as the new chairperson of the Elections Commission. In response, President Jack Dio said he is very, very, very happy with this election and so no one can complain now of the chairman. The chairman along with the commissioners need to retire and do their work. I'll take this as the last call tonight. Unfortunately, the call cut off, right? So that is the state of play as we wind down the program for this evening. Hi, good evening, you're on the air. Good evening, go ahead. Good. Thank you. We could have, we could have hardly hear you, um, and uh, but we still want to thank you for coming through. Yes, as I was wrapping up, uh, Justice Claude Singh, a lot of bouquets for you this evening, and there is a tremendous amount of confidence, at least coming in from this program, in terms of your selection. It's not easy to agree to put your name up on a position that's is going to be difficult, and not only difficult, 
being in that position, you could end up being criticized by all sides. But Justice Claude Singh has been a person known to stick to the rule of law, stick to fairness, and we want to also offer congratulations. From all of us here at Hold No Bars, Kevin, our other operator, the directors, and from my and on my own behalf, from all of us, we want to thank you for calling in, for listening, for sharing your time and thoughts with us, and you have a good rest of the evening. Good night.